Hey guys, welcome to another movie review. Today I'm going to be talking about um, a classic movie that I really haven't been able to see um, in completion until recently. Um, and I've been meaning to watch this movie ever since the passing of Robin Williams. Um, and that is the film Dead Poets Society. That's this film right here. And uh, this film, you guys, what it's really about is this English teacher or English professor, I guess I should say, since it's kind of a very strict... Um, expensive small school that these boys attend. Um, so Robin Williams, he's like this English professor that um, has a very unique way of teaching his students. Um, they the film opened with what suggested was a English class that he wouldn't normally teach. Um, that they um, basically hired this new person to basically take on this class and stuff, and. He teaches the students. He um, teaches them very differently. Um, he definitely does things um, way differently than what this school intended him to teach the students as. Um, he wants them to rip pages off of a textbook that he doesn't believe in. Um, he really wants these students to think independently and to create their own voice with their writing because um, he personally believes that a lot of these poems that they're going to write for this class, it's really not going to form the way it will or the way it should unless if it really comes from their heart, from their own voice, from their own experience. Uh, so this film's ultimately about, like I said, um, this English prof professor trying to teach these students, um, you know, to kind of go against the rules, to kind of learn something that really is going to benefit you in the long run, to teach writing and English and writing and, you know, and reading and doing papers and writing poems. <clears throat> All of this should be done with your own voice, to go out and interact with things that <clears throat> would, you know, ultimately give you the best way of explaining things the best way you can on paper. Um, so that's really what this film is. And it's really also about this group of friends that are in this class that kind of resurrect this thing called the Dead Poet Society that Robin Williams was once a part of. And they kind of get in trouble for this because something happens to someone in this group that kind of get, blames this club of being responsible for this action and so forth. So there's this huge thing about, you know, is this Dead Poet Society kind of an unhealthy way to, you know, teach the, these students to do this independent thing that Robin Williams' character has been trying to teach them all along? Or is the teacher and the students and kind of everybody involved kind of responsible for this bad, um, behavior that's hovering over the school and that, you know, shutting down this club might be in the school's best interests and the best interests of the students if it's really going to turn out the way that the school fears that it might be. So overall, guys, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I'm definitely glad that um, I did see this movie, that I experienced it. Um, I'm kind of a little ashamed that I waited as long as I did to finally get around to seeing it, but I have seen it. I have, you know, I have a full opinion on it now, and I can officially say that I have seen this movie and can definitely see why Robin Williams uh, is very much praised for his work in this movie. So for my positives and negatives of the Dead Poet Society, um, I think it's very inspirational to all writers of all kinds, whether you do writing professionally, whether you're just getting through school or through college with your writing skills, or you know if you write on the side or write poems for fun and so forth. I think this one's very inspirational in the sense that it's really encouraging you to have your own voice to really not go back to a textbook and do what the textbook is telling you. Really just do what you think is right. Really do what... Um, you really feel is the best way to approach your writing and to really just have your own voice and to um, explain it just the way that you see it and the way you experienced it because the only way people are really going to get the message across or the way that they're going to see the things the way that you saw them is the way is to write them the way that you experience it and the way that you saw it happen. So I think it's very inspirational in that sense. Uh, Robin Williams' performance is very strong in this movie. Uh, this role really required a dramatic and a comedic um, combination of two. It's definitely a hybrid in that sense of a performance. Um, and he really nailed it in this movie. He really 
was funny when he was allowed to be dramatic when he when he could be um, inspirational to the students inspirational to the people around him so I thought it was just a very strong performance um, and I can definitely see why they wanted Robin Williams to play this role because there was a lot of like celebrity inter impersonations and things that you know Robin Williams would have comedic remarks about and so forth so I definitely think he was the perfect casting choice for this role and it really worked out well in this movie. And overall, I just felt very invested in the characters. I felt very, um, I wanted this Dead Poet Society thing to continue on for these students. And to, um, I was very invested in, you know, when one of them fell in love with a girl, that I wanted him to, you know, pursue this relationship with this girl. And this one of, one of them wanted to pursue acting. And, you know, the dad really was not against, he really didn't want his son to act in plays and so forth. And I really wanted him to succeed with that. And um, another one, uh, kind of stepped on the rules a little bit to kind of get the Dead Poet Society continuing to go within the school. And I felt invested. I wanted him to find a way for this Dead Poet Society to continue that. I didn't want him to be completely responsible for the things that he was responsible for. So I just felt very invested in these characters. And that just really just goes to show how strong the writing was in this movie. I also thought the story was inspirational to teachers. It really does inspire a teacher to, you know, maybe just sitting down in a classroom and just teaching from a textbook or teaching on a top chalkboard is just not always the perfect way to teach a subject matter sometimes. Sometimes teaching's about being interactive and letting people have their own voice and letting people have an opinion of what's going on in the classroom. And um, it just really is inspirational as to, you know, sometimes the best teaching isn't the one that always is done by the book. Sometimes the best teaching is when the teacher themselves has their own voice of how to uh, properly teach something and to let the students be more interactive and have fun about it. I also thought that the friendship on screen in this movie between this group of friends felt very real. It felt like a very um, real group of friends that were just trying to get along and trying to get through. And, you know, when things got tough, they were there for each other. And, you know, they're there to agree and to share poems with each other and so forth. So I thought the on-screen friendship was very believable in this movie. I also liked how strict the school felt. It really did feel like you do anything wrong in the school and you will get punished very badly for it. It felt like a very very strict school that definitely had repercussions if you did something really really bad in the school so I like I, I like how this film really established just how strict the school could be and I thought this the drama in this film felt very real it felt very um it wasn't just really good performances coming out of the cast in this movie they really felt like they were really in the situation, bringing real drama into the situation. So huge thumbs up to the cast of this movie for making the drama really feel real in this movie. But for my negatives of Dead Poet Society, why I probably wouldn't put it up there with like Mrs. Doubtfire or, uh, you know, some of the really, really big Robin Williams performances. Um, I thought the pacing in this film was a little slow, uh, more so in the first act, I, or even the first half of this movie, I would say. Uh, the second half definitely picked up a little bit more. There was more going on in the second half of the movie, but the first half I thought was very slow. It took a long time to kind of build up to what the film was really about. Uh, it really took a long time to... Um, get up and going and really show us, you know, that it was really about this teacher and these students and this Dead Poet Society Club that they formed and so forth. So the pacing was a little slow for me. Really wished it could have been a better paced movie. Um, another huge negative I have with the movie is there's just a lot of really unlikable characters in this movie, specifically the father of um, Robert Sean Leonard, I think this actor's name is, the one that really wanted to pursue acting. It's just, um, I won't go into detail about this guy just because it might be spoiler territory for those who haven't seen the film yet, but there's something this guy's father does that he is 100% responsible for. I feel like the film just kind of lets him get away with this, and it's really too bad because I really think this situation that happens over the course of this film really is 100% this guy's fault. It wasn't the Dead Poet Society's fault. It wasn't the teacher's fault. It wasn't the student's fault. 100% this guy's fault. And I really felt like the film kind of allowed this guy to get away with this, and he really should be 100% responsible for this really bad thing that happens to this guy. 
Um, another negative I had with the movie was um, I thought some of the characters, uh, I would even say Ethan Hawke's character definitely falls under this. Some of the characters go quiet for so long in this movie by the time that they do have a voice and they do um, have a personality of their own for the movie. Um, it, it is kind of a little too late. Like It feels like because they went quiet for so long and really he didn't have a voice throughout the course of this movie, by the time they do have a voice, um, the character just doesn't feel as three-dimensional as they could have been with a better um, direction, I guess, with some of these characters. So some of these characters go quiet for too long. By the time they do speak up and have their own personality, it feels like it's a little too late for the movie. Overall, I'm going to give Dead Poets Society an 8.5 out of 10. Really well done movie, very inspirational, a strong performance out of Robin Williams. I just wish the pacing could have been a little bit better. It felt a little too slow for me. Uh, some of these characters were really unlikable. Um, another bad unlikable character that I didn't like was the bully that picked on this kid that liked the girl. I thought it was very stereotypical. Um, and some of these characters went quiet for so long, by the time they do have a personality in the film, it feels a little too late for its own good. So 8.5 out of 10, very strong movie, very much a film I would recommend if you love the work of Robin Williams. 8.5 out of 10, very strong movie.